South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Uh, okay. Uh, you. <laughs> you, you are with me because you and I have had many discussions and even years back debates over the borders. Yeah. Secure the border first. Right. And that's right. not happened. We now have nearly 200,000 right. people a month. The answer is simple in my mind. Right. Yeah, it is too. So I've been dealing with illegal immigration for 15 years. And what have I learned? If you have policies that incentivize illegal immigration, you'll get more of it. If you have policies that deter illegal immigration, you'll get less. The dumbest idea in all of Washington would be to grant amnesty in an infrastructure bill without first securing the border. You would have an invasion beyond what you have today. If we legalized 100,000 people or a million people in the infrastructure bill, there would be a run on our border because everybody would get the message, they're legalizing people in America, let's go and let's go now. You have to secure the border before you grant one person legal status. If you don't, you will lose control of, uh, of America, of our sovereignty. Well, it's amnesty beh behind all of this. You've tried to be a part of these bipartisan right. discussions. Uh, Democrats, though, in many ways, <laughs> I see them saying, oh, yeah. well, we got a bipartisan bill on human infrastructure, and then they'll use reconciliation to get everything else they want. Are you going to allow that right. to happen? Well, so I said a couple of days ago that if they put amnesty into $3.5 trillion dollar infrastructure bill, that's got nothing to do with infrastructure, it's big government, higher taxes. But if they put amnesty in that bill, I would try to deny them a quorum to pass that bill. It's a 50-50 Senate, and the vice president doesn't count toward a quorum. So a lot of people have pushed back to me, to my Republican colleagues, what are we going to do if they load up the three and a half trillion, it's really five trillion infrastructure bill with mail-in voting and with amnesty? What is our response? If you don't like my idea, come up with one of your own. If we don't fight back as hard as we can, they're destroying the Senate as I speak. They're going to lead to an illegal immigrant invasion like we've never seen in the history of the country. So my idea is do anything and everything possible to stop this before it happens. Let the Democrats mm -hmm. know that if you, pa we if you put illegal legalizing uh, illegal immigrants in the reconciliation bill, then we as Republicans will use everything available to us, including denying your corn. Everybody that watches this show probably knows by now I don't support boycotts, never have, and I'm never going to, or cancel culture. Um, but I do support right. boycotts. And I like what you said about Chick-fil-A, and I'd urge everybody, I love Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, I love it. It's absolutely amazing. So, okay, they want to hurt right. Chick-fil-A. Um, I'm going to support Chick-fil-A just because I like it. Amen. What are your thoughts? So no, Notre, Dame is, Notre Dame's a great university. You had a handful of Notre Dame students and faculty petitioning the university not to allow Chick-fil-A on campus. Well, I spoke up. It's the number one fast food uh, company in America. It's good food, good service at a reasonable price, and the Kathy family are religious people, and they dare act on their religion. So here's my statement to the faculty and students at Notre Dame. You don't have the right to deny somebody to do business because they have sincerely religiously held beliefs. That's very bad and very dangerous for America. So we got to speak up, Sean. If they put amnesty in the infrastructure bill, if you don't like my ideas, Republican, you better come up with one of your own because we'll surrender and just yeah. be run over. And I'm not going to let that happen. When, you, when a company like Chick-fil-A is attacked because they want to act on their faith and we don't stand behind them, then somebody will come after our faith. That's well said. By the way, I will go to Chick-fil-A, but if the line is like it usually is, down the block, around <laughs> the corner, I'm not going to wait. Yeah. I'm only going in if it's a short line. Uh, anyway, but I Use do believe app. in, in boycotts. Uh, all right, Senator, thank you. Yeah.